in Cairo, the scene of clashes between Muslims and Christians. Two days of violence left 12 people dead and more than 200 injured. The government has promised to come down hard on those inciting religious violence. Taking a turn to the worse, sectarian clashes reached the heart of the capital, Cairo. As Christian men marched, chanting slogans against the military and calling for more rights, they came under attack. These very grounds that witnessed Egyptians united in their fight against Mubarak, now a scene of bitter division. It follows earlier clashes in the working class neighborhood of Mbaba over an apparent relationship between a Christian woman and a Muslim man. Shots, fights and fire defacing more than one church in the neighborhood. Witnesses say after attackers failed to enter the other church, they came to this one here armed with Molotov cocktails, breaking into the church and setting on fire everything inside. In fact, witnesses say they even managed to burn alive one of the church workers. Attempts to calm the angry congregation failing, with people attacking a senior military officer as soon as he entered the burn building. While some blamed hardline Muslims were becoming more vocal recently, others have said this is symptomatic of a bigger issue, rampant lawlessness in the country following the revolution. The only solution is to have an iron fist. If perpetrators of the previous attacks that happened recently were arrested, this wouldn't have happened. But there is no deterrence. There's no leadership. The armed forces aren't doing anything. For months now, the Coptic community has become accustomed to these scenes. He was just defending his church, screamed this woman. While this one said, they do not know God, they can't be Jews or Muslims, they know no religion. Dazed and confused, some Muslims injured in the clashes too say they still can't make sense of what happened. What's my fault? I was leaving work late at night and suddenly was shot in the foot. Why? I don't understand. Sectarian clashes are not new in this country, where the Coptic community has long complained of discrimination. Injustices many hoped would disappear in the new Egypt. The post-Mubarak government now facing a serious challenge to live up to expectations. The cabinet resolved to strictly implement laws preventing demonstrations that interrupt the flow of work, assaults on places of worship and banning gatherings at such places. Anyone who represents a threat to national security will be prosecuted. Despite these promises and the fact that 190 people linked to the clashes were referred to speedy military trials, many cops remain weary. Dozens gathered outside the U.S. Embassy in Cairo calling for their protection. But it's inwards that Egyptians need to turn to, many say, if they're truly to address years of sectarian tension. Al-Ragh Al-Jazeera, Cairo. Thank you so much. Thank you.